Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me and welcome to week 5 of my 12 weeks of Halloween. In this video we're going to be uh, embellishing this little bag that I made with the gift bag punch board. And if you need to see the assembly for this, if you're on YouTube, I'll try to have the link to the video below in the pro in the video description. If you're on my website at inkandinspirations.com, it will be on the same page as this video just above it. So I've got this little bag made with the Happy Haunting Designer Series paper from the Holiday Catalog from Stampin' Up! And we're going to simply embellish it with a stamp from the Among the Branches stamp set that is also in the Holiday Catalog. I love this set because it's got symbols and stamps for Halloween, Christmas, and Thanksgiving. So it's super cool. Okay, so I'm going to take some very vanilla cardstock and the spooky circle, circle stamp from that set and some Tangelo Twist ink, which is one of the colors in the Happy Haunting Designer Series paper collection. I'm going to ink this up. See a little fuzz there on my stamp. Okay, and I've got my stamping mat underneath, stamping pierce mat, which helps with photopolymer stamps. And there I have that, and I'm going to get my two inch circle punch and punch that out. And I've chose very vanilla because it's the neutral, one of the neutrals in the designer paper. Let's close this ink up. And I'm going to get my basic black marker and take in the brush tip. I'm just going to add a little black right here to the eyeballs. It really makes them stand out and makes a difference for that particular stamp. Now, I'm going to find the front of the bag. The seam here is the back, so I want this to be the front. And I'm going to take this, and I have a half of a spider web doily. I take one of these and just cut it in half. These are so pretty, even though they're spider webs, it's really pretty. I'm just going to cut this in half, going across the center here, and then I'm going to adhere it to the front, take a little bit of Tombow glue, and just dot it where I know it's going to be adhering to the bag, and attach it like so. I want it extending a little bit beyond the top. Then I'm just going to simply take this circle stamped image and pop that on the front. Super cute little treat bag. Then I have some thin strips of some scrap of that designer paper that I cut at one quarter or one eighth of an inch, just as thin as you can get it. They're long. Well, you can see that one's not too long. It was a piece of scrap. Then you just wad it up, fill your bag with your treats, and then you can use this as a little topper to present to a trick-or-treater or, or a friend. So I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure and tune in again soon. I'll have another video with a remake of this project in a fall themed, in fall a color. So hope to see you again soon. If you have questions, leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and take care. Bye-bye.